M600 Pro in its box, all the controls and units, and the battery case down there. We're going to fly and do some aerial mapping, and this is the build as we get onto site. Um, also, just a bit of a time of how long it takes to construct everything and get it up in the air flying. I'm not going to rush anything, I'm just going to take my time. Everything looks good. I've got a warning sign on the camera. Um, I'm not sure if I'm having issues with my Z3 camera, but it is pointing down. There is image coming through and it's allowing me to fly. So I'm going to take off now. And three, two, one. Sky, come here, boy. Okay, so altitude of 42,5 meters, holding steady, and it started mapping. And it is taking images as it is flying it is pointing down everything looks great so far and it's following the grid mission at 2.7 meters per second the map mission finished it says successful and it hovers at the end of the mission so now i am going to return to home so very carefully i'm going to touch down and just hold the throttle all the way down into the shuttle DJI Go app and we're going to test out this camera and the thermal imaging setup so that we have video feed of the normal video from the Z3 camera and zoom capabilities and thermal imaging at the same time. On the, the Blackpool monitor we have the um, thermal imaging camera with its own remote control for an gimbal independent to the Z3 and here's the control for it. So this is a dual operator setup or it can be a single operator setup. All right, and on this side we have, I'm not sure if you can see the screen, we have the Z3 camera and a perfect view of that. So what we're gonna do now is fly and then we're gonna test out both cameras and the overall capability of the craft. All right, are you ready? And we're gonna take off. We have independent control of this camera with a zoom. So what I'll do is I'll zoom into us. I'm able to film that. And there we are. And the thermal imaging pointing the other way or it can point in the same direction.